What up, y'all? It's T-Turn. Today, we're looking at more of y'all's theories for Pokemon in 2024. Let's go. Pokemon Genetic Crystal. So, I watched your recent video, and I thought, what if it's called Pokemon Genetic Crystal? But it starred Walking Wake. Okay, so pretty much what I said in that video, but instead, Walking Wake is the main focus of the game. It could be in a separate timeline where the Paradox is a Pokemon that died in the tower. Listen, there's all kinds of goofy ideas we could add in with the Paradoxes, which would be so much fun. But I made that video trying to think as realistic as possible that Game Freak would do. But I will say, listen... The whole timeline can't be the exact same, except in one timeline it's Walking Wake and in ours it's Suicune. I don't know how Pokemon's gonna answer the whole gap between the Paradox Beasts and then the later beasts that we have. Because it's not like the Paradox ones are the ones that died in the fire, right? Because these are legit dinosaurs. These mans are from millions of years ago. In Pokemon's time frame, sure, let's say maybe thousands of years ago. You could say, you know, they were savage creatures. And when Ho'o resurrected them, he made them more in Ho'o style, which is more elegant creatures. But then what were these dinosaurs doing in the burnt tower? It makes more sense that it was legit three random, not random, but three Pokemon that they haven't shown us yet. You know, the, I've talked about this in a previous video. They could be like the legendaries or these rare Pokemon that they introduce in a Legends Johto game. You might even find them in the wild, right? Let's say there's these three Pokemon that died in the tower back then. And either Ho took inspiration from the these dinosaurs, which doesn't make as much sense. Or these Pokemon, they're like weakened and very ass versions of the legendary beasts. Like, there may be even just three normal type beasts that, like Cyclists, or they're the descendants of Raikwentin Suicune and they're pure Dookie. So what Ho'o did was, when it resurrected them, it brought out back its color and made them Raikwentin Suicune and in ho -Oh style, now they're elegant. But I don't think the- I want to say dogs, even though it's wrong. I don't think the dogs that got killed in the tower are literally the dinosaurs. That's the weirdest crap ever. But listen, Game Freak, prove me wrong. Let's go entertain Raikou. Yo, teacher, just finished watching your latest videos on Crystal being the next Johto games. I think Game Freak would probably go for double versions again for a Johto game. Yeah, see, Game Freak makes more money if they make two versions. It didn't work as well with Ultra Sun and Moon. They would have pretty much made the same amount if it was just Pokemon Stars. But generally, this is why they sell two versions. Some people buy both. But I guess it's more fun for fans to be able to pick a path, even if that path is not very different. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce the idea of it being based off Pokemon Crystal in that video and then seeing what y'all think. I always didn't really understand why Suicune was the favorite child among the beasts. I loved the lore, but always wanted to see more about Entei and Raikou. So what if they remake Crystal, but have two versions? One focusing instead on Entei and one on Raikou. Yeah. This is legit a good idea. So this is how it could have gone. I remember writing some stuff down for this. So instead of Eugene, right? When you pick Let's Go Entei, we don't. We have to figure out the names. But I guess for the sake of this, we'll call it the Entei game and the Raikou game. If you're playing the Entei game, instead of you Zine Eugene, someone else would pop up, right? And their goal is I want to meet Entei. And so Entei would be the playful one at the center of that game. And maybe the one that joins your party. And in the Raikou game, it's this random dude who wants to see Raikou, and that's the center focus. I think Yuzin's name, it doesn't follow this in Japanese, but it's kind of like, it kind of has Suikun in his name. So the Entei and Raikou dude would probably have Entei and Raikou kind of in their names as well. That could totally happen too, because Pokemon, they probably would have got like an extra million sales with like Legends Arceus, for example, if they split that in two games. Maybe instead, they go with something called Pokemon Garnet and Quartz. Oh, yo. Now, nah, they, they would save like these powerful names for a whole new, the like, gen. Pokemon Raging Bolt and Gouging Fire. Using Raging and Gouging could work as that prefix, like heart and soul. I think this could even line up with one of the things Riddler Koo posted about the Chinese uncle, where he said original flavor and original taste. And maybe with Johto being more of that original taste or the faithful remake and Unova being the true remake. We still don't know what the uncle meant by that, but yeah, this is a pretty good take as well. So now going back to Ku's map of the four regions, which is a different tweet, we have Paldia, which is covered by the epilogue, Unova, which will speculate as future Unova games, and then Kanto Johto are these faithful Pokemon Clear Crystal remakes whatever clear crystal will turn out to be so let's play the name game y'all let's say they were to split crystal into two versions come up with the name in the comments here we got one crystal remakes 2024 hey t-tar loved your idea for clear crystal as the game this year but if you theorize terrestrializing could have continued in Unova remakes could they also happen in johto so could the game be called terra crystal 
Could you imagine how crazy people would go if Pokemon Crystal was meaningfully changed to intertwine terrestrializing in it? Like all the gym leader used them. It would be pretty much in a different timeline to the original Johto games. We can't really get into that. That'd be a huge change. So far, what we know about their second term remakes, it's just more basic but this would make people go so crazy but check it out if game freak wanted to make two remake games instead of just one clear crystal could they make something like flame crystal or bolt crystal this is a solid idea because they can't waste a whole pokemon title like quartz or amethyst on these remakes so by following fire red leaf green how they just add a prefix to the name they could split crystal by making flame for entei and bolt for raikou and so it would still be crystal it'd pretty much be ultra sun and moon again they split it into two but it's more meaningful games this time i liked ultra sun and moon a lot i did but they should have made it just pokemon stars but yeah so this is the same idea with entei and raikou fulfilling the roles i'm down for this for maximizing profit we got to figure out the names a bit better but making two versions just like pikachu and eevee that is the superior idea with the history of giovanni's mother founding team rocket and him taking over the business from her oh oh you're getting into lore they haven't really talked about so yeah giovanni does have a mom what's her name Debosh. it's like some metal gear solid crap and Giovanni has like a brother. <laughs> this is all stuff they don't really touch on in the games. Could we see a game where Silver takes over Team Rocket from his father Giovanni? Oh, you're talking about if they were to make Flame Crystal and Bolt Crystal, that the story's quite different. This is hard to tell for now. And it would honestly, y'all let me know in the comments too, right? But we've been through so many remakes now that I'm trying to think in Game Freak shoes that they might be getting nervous that people aren't going to be as excited to just play a remake that fans aren't as interested in remakes anymore and especially for second run remakes unlike bdsp which is a first run that they'd have to make meaningful changes and could actually change up the story big love cheers for carrying the hype season i got y'all i got infinite content y'all know this now okay so let me know in the comments y'all one do you think game freak cares to make changes to their remakes or do you think they think fans will eat it up either way and two tell me the names that could work if we split crystal into two and you can't use other gems so it'd have to be something crystal and something crystal raging crystal gouging crystal burnt crystal and bolt crystal these are so goofy but it would work so well it's also kind of funny fire and electric it's zekra and rushroom all over again by pure coincidence it means nothing but yeah let me know your thoughts y'all know twitter is waiting for me to upload my next video so they can make <laughs> fresh tweets i'm just happy that me and the community me and y'all are gifted with the ability to make new ideas we on this channel are the fountain of eternal <laughs> videos the fountain of actual content no i'm not knocking anyone bro i don't even go on the internet i don't know what people are doing i just know last time i checked this is all they were doing anyhow y'all make sure you shank that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments we are still eight weeks away don't ask questions. We're stuck in a time loop. It's not going down. Keep sending me all theories. The emo's here. Shank that like button and I will see you either later today or tomorrow. Take care.